everybody, how you doing out there? OG Big T, I want to talk to you today about uh, bike rims, specifically rear bike rims for motorized bikes, okay? So let's start off with some basics, right? Everyone has to start off with the basics, that's what I had to do. So when you first get a motorized bike, like my first two-stroke I built, you get these things. You get this um, nine bolt hole pattern sprocket and these things, two of these, and you, you cut one and you put it on one side of the spokes, the other side of the spokes. And for a first build I did on my 80cc two-stroke that I got from Bikeberry, that was okay. Okay, but then I had problems of one kind or another, so I went ahead and got one of the um, alloy sprocket adapter things here from Bikeberry, and then you can change the uh, gearing on it better and it's more secure. Some people say that it slips on the hub. I haven't had that experience um, with it, so I'm happy with it. Uh, I have a little 80cc bike here, uh, a bit underpowered for the weight of the bike and more importantly, the weight of the rider, but what are you gonna do? Um, but it goes pretty good with the 40 tooth on the back. But forget about the gearing for a minute. The more important thing I wanna talk to you about is the spokes, all right? Hang on. So the standard wheel that came with this McCargy bike is, uh, you know, made for pedaling of your own power at, you know, two miles an hour, five miles an hour, whatever it is. And this is a 14 gauge spoke. Spokes. So on the back wheel, um, I had about six spokes break and I went down to Canyon Bikes over here in Santa Clarita and they replaced the spokes and they trued it up and I put everything back together and I rode it around for a month or two and it broke more spokes. I said, okay, I'm gonna get something a little more heavy duty. So what I got was, bear with me. Off Amazon, I got this uh, flying horse uh, 12 gauge spoke wheel and I took it over to um, Canyon Bikes in Santa Clarita and the guy said, I don't know about this because the nipples, right, wanna pull through the rim. And he said, I don't think you should use this rim. And I said, I'm sure it'll be okay. Well, I put it on the bike, you know, it took an hour to tear everything apart and put it on the bike. And within literally around the block here, I broke like three or four spokes. Didn't break the spokes. What I should say is they pulled out of the rim. They pulled completely out of the rim. The nipple pulled right through like the guy told me. So I'm like, well, what am I gonna do now? Because when I went on Bikeberry, basically I think the flying horse rim with the 12 gauge spokes is the same thing as what they offer on Bikeberry. So I put it out there to the motorized bike community and I said, what have you guys got out there that's better than the standard rim or the 12 gauge flying horse slash bike bearing rims? And so I hope I'm saying this right. Moses Sen Valley, the guy that builds mostly two stroke bikes, racing bikes and stuff like that says, go to Granger. Granger has this wheel here 11 gauge spokes, 11 gauge spokes. So I spent half a day yesterday you know, with these bike rims because I'm gonna send back the uh, flying horse one. But um, so now what I've got on the rear is I've got the Granger 11 gauge spoke rear wheel with the alloy or whatever you call it, aluminum hub adapter from Bikeberry with a 40 tooth. And this thing seems solid. It's probably the most solid part of the whole bike. You know what I mean? And then that in conjunction with the um, 12 gauge front wheel with the disc brake that I did get from Bikeberry, not as much pressure on the front, right? So there's not as much weight in the front, there's no drivetrain, um, you know, so that's okay. But I think it's real important because to be safe with these things, because I've had, uh, like I said twice, the 14 gauge spokes fall apart on me. And then once even the 12 gauge because it was maybe substandard or whatever it was. So very very important if you're out there and you're running motorized bikes and you're you know 199.9 pounds or whatever it is and you got a hundred pound bike you're riding this thing at 30 40 50 miles an hour whatever we can do on these things 39 miles an hour for me top speed with the 80 cc um that you have some kind of a good back wheel because <clears throat> what you don't want to do lose my voice what you don't want to do is um have an accident and your wheel falls apart <coughs> I'm getting so choked up here. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to get choked up about this, but it's very near and dear to my heart. No, I'm just kidding. I just ate a cookie and I didn't drink any water. 
anyway real important to take care of these wheels because you know that's the only thing that's keeping you from crashing and burning and this is supposed to be a fun and exciting hobby not one that's near death defying anyway you guys have a great day and this is OG Big T signing out bye bye Oh, we didn't stop yet? Nice. Let me turn it off manually.